touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. Trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot. to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. They'll run for it. Jump. And he will have a first down. As He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Sideline throw. That's caught by Lee. They'll throw now on the final play. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Odell oh, Beckham as time expires in the first half. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And just before the half ends, the prayer is answered defensively a disaster there. I know often we're surprised when this actually works. I mean, the excitement level goes way up, but maybe we shouldn't be because I know as a defender, you've got to play them to get back in this game. On second and seven, Mayfield firing quickly here, and that's complete. First down. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle there, and it moves to James. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Move the ball a little bit better, but it's been tough sledding for him here the entire second half. First down, Mayfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Mayfield hitting David Njoku on the touchdown pass. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. 14 now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken six. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. In your and this face. is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. In a tie game fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touch. We'll call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tanya complete. We've got a one-score game with inside of two to a second and ten. Rodgers to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it up. 